I thought, no, he's, he's making a joke. And then next thing I know, he's got a knife in his hand. A local mountain biker describing a disturbing encounter with a transient on a popular trail. And as our tennis reporter Michael Chen found out, the cyclist is scared of what that man may do next. Once every week, it's a relaxing ride. You'll find Mike Hayes biking the trails in Tecolote Canyon. I ride it all the time, so I, I, I know it like the back of my hand. There's no surprises. But on noon Sunday, there was one. Hayes was right about here, walking his bike up to the trailhead. There was someone right ahead of him. Moments later, Hayes was alongside a man he believed was homeless. Camouflage clothing and a camouflage backpack. He was in his 20s and walking his own bike. He looks at me. At first I thought he was joking, you know, but he didn't smile. And then he got this kind of serious look on his face and I looked down and he had a knife in his right hand and he was holding it behind him. Kind of like, well, like this. The knife, a four inch long hunting knife. Hayes says when he looked into the man's eyes. I call him Charlie Manson eyes. He kind of wide. He saw a crazed look. Uh oh, Hayes thought he was in trouble. A little bit panicky. There was no one nearby and because of a back injury, he sometimes needs a cane. And I thought, well, I guess I could push the bike at him and run away, but I can't run. So I backed up. I just slowly started moving out towards the street. Hayes says when he got to the street, I want this bike to go as fast as it can. He pedaled like he's never done before while the man walked his bike away. Hayes now hoping to warn anyone who uses this trail. My fear is next time he's just going to stick me and not ask any questions or someone else. Michael Chen, 10 News. And we're told if you have any information on the man, you're asked to call San Diego police.